I got another lab solution video for you. Today we're gonna to be talking about PDA data analysis and I'm gonna be showing you all the magical features you get when you uh, when you get a PDA versus like a, like a UV detector. So let's get into it. So let's talk about PDA data analysis. So if you go to main, it's right here, PDA data analysis. Shimatsu has some sample PDA demo data. If you go to lab solutions, sample LC, that's where it lives. So let's just go ahead and select this one. PDA demo data one. And that's this table over here. All righty. Let's take a look at each of these sections. So let's take a look at contour view. So what the contour view is kind of like a tops down view of pretty much all the wavelengths, kind of like a 2D image kind of tops down. So on the x-axis, you have your retention time and on your y-axis, you have your you know, your wavelengths, right? Um, this is kind of hard to understand for some people, but when I go to the 3D image, it makes way more sense. So if you go to view here, 3D image, ta-da, now you get it. So this is what it was looking like, right? So that's that was the tops down view, but if you kind of move it in 3D space, you can see, right? So it's all the chromatograms at all the wavelengths and then you're just gonna pick the slice that gives you, you know, kind of the best intensities for, you know, the best lambda maxes for all your peaks. All right, so let's kind of figure out what that one is. I think, let's close this. If you wanna select the, uh, the wavelength, the best way I find to do it, if someone has a better way, let me know. You click on this expand button right here and, you know, you go make a cup of coffee and then when you come back, you should be ready, all right? And you can kind of just, dial in the wavelengths from here, right? And then you kind of want the area that kind of gives you the, the most intensities, right? So blue is kind of low, green is more, and then yellow and red are, are much higher. You can kind of have this, you have this uh, legend over here on the right. Okay, so let's close this. So if you click on a peak, let's say we're clicking on this peak. So if you right click, you go show spectrum table, you'll see lambda maxes are 255, 226, and your lambda mims are 223, 232, and 340, okay? And for this one, we selected 254, because it's not gonna just be for one pick, peak, right? You kinda, you kinda gotta select the best wavelength for across all your peaks, which will have all different lambda maxes. What's really nice about a PDA versus a UV is, is getting this spectrum view. So why is this spectrum view useful? It's useful because not only does it kind of help you figure out for method development which wavelength which Lambda Max you can choose. But what's also nice about it is this kind of acts like an ID for your uh, compound. So it's a it's an added feature that allows you to um, identify as well. So that's one huge advantage of getting a PDA over a UV. Now on the bottom right here, you have something called a purity view. So this tells you if there's any changes in this spectrum. You can also set the speed um, the wavelength range that um, you're evaluating over, right? If your peak is over here, you don't want to be including the whole spectrum. You just kind of want to be including uh, the the um, the start and stop of your peak, or maybe even inside of it. But what um, what you'll notice here is a purity view. This here is your purity curve, and this is your peak, right? And this red part is your zero line. So um, let's take a look at that. So if you hear see here, this is your purity curve. Okay, so that's this guy over here. And this is your zero line and this is just your peak. But if you look at this table right here, I'll tell you how pure your compound is. So if you have peak purity index approaching one, it's really good. And I'll tell you impurity not detected. Um, let's pick some other peaks and let's take a look at this. Okay, so let's look at this peak over here. So if we look at this peak over here. Okay, I'm selecting this one over two and a half minutes and this is the peak purity view. You can see there's kind of more junk over here and impurity detected at 2.75, see that? And then you get your purity index, it's lower than one. So basically, you know, it's a way to tell you too, if, you know, say, say you're doing a separation and you think you did a great job, the peak looks beautiful, but this purity index also gives you a little bit of a indicator if it's, if it's really pure or if there's a hidden peak in there. If there's a hidden peak within your peak, then you're getting artificially high 
uh, area counts, right? And your quantitation's off. You know, it's always a good idea to try to get good enough of a separation where your, where your peak purity is sufficiently high. And that's pretty much it for PDA um, data analysis, at least the qualitative side. And hopefully this, um, this video was helpful for you. All right, so that video was helpful. Yes, we agree, somewhat. Well, if you guys liked that video, like, subscribe, and put in the comments what kind of videos you, uh, you want me to make. Um, sometimes it takes me like six months to get to it, I'm busy, but I'll try my best. All right, see you in the next one.